How's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching a Wi-Fi battle video in high quality. Gosh darn it, I finally got my capture card in the mail, and it was a fun day. So, um, and you know, this isn't the first time I'm actually recording this in high quality. I had Kanga and someone else recording high quality for me just to get a feel of what it's like and man this is great um the quality is sharper hope you guys find these future uploads to be amazing because these are going to be amazing i can feel it i can tell it if you like this video make sure you like this video and subscribe so this is a awesome match between myself and McAllen or Mac on Twitter. I'll put his Twitter handle in the description for your viewing leisure and as well as his YouTube and stuff. Okay, so this is uh, Sculpey here. Sculpey, the speed boost uh, variant. I'm going to go with a rock slide. I flinch. Torkoal, which is fine. I figured he might stay in or something. I don't know. But we're going to continue going for the rock slide. And we hit Gorgeist. I see Gorgeist in its, um, I believe that's his huge form, which means that it's going to be a lot more bulky. And I know for a fact that it's going to go with a will o wisp. And that's going to be the case here. I'm going to switch into Pascal. Pascal is my Aromatise who's my fairy type for this battle and it has um, aromatherapy on the set so it doesn't matter if he's going to burn me uh, I have aromatherapy we're going to reveal we're going to reveal it for my opponent to see uh, so that he can hopefully not burn us again um, so yeah that's the case there and uh, he makes a great play and actually uh, leech sees me which, uh, Pascal has a lot of HP investment, so that is going to be very useful for my opponent, not for me, on the other hand. I go with a Moonblast, just trying to lower its special attack, which, I don't know, that's kind of pointless, because Gorgas is a physical attacker. I'm just trying to put some chip damage, so that way I can revenge kill with someone else, and... Hopefully that works. I don't think it's going to be working here. Uh, here he tries to uh, over predict. And he actually does over predict. Wow, that is such a great way of saying it. He does over predict. Uh, he thinks I'm going to switch out. I'm going to stay in trying to poison the Gorgeist. Seeing that it's really bulky for me to do any damage. We're going to rely on the Caustic to take it down. And, of course, yeah, the, the Leech Seed is still active, but the Poison is going to help me out. So we finally force the Gorgeist out. He switches in to Drag Algae, and he's just going to eat this Moonblast. I was hoping for a special attack drop. I don't get it. Uh, that's fine. He gets his uh, Leech Seed recovery. And uh, that is going to suck because now I'm at low health. He can basically KO me with a sludge wave or a sludge bomb. But he misclicks or overpredicts again and um, goes with a Draco Meteor. I'm like, really? Come on, you can KO me. I'm begging you to KO me because I can switch into Dragonite and um, revenge kill it with an Outrage or something like that. So... You know, it's fine. He kills me with a Scald. That's okay. Uh, we see that he's life orbed. Good to know. And here's Dragonite. Now, I could have switched out right here or set up, actually. Because I know Clefable is coming in. I actually opt to go with an Earthquake. And that actually does a lot of damage for me not being boosted and all that with Dragon Dances. But... That's neither here nor there. Let's go into Skull P because of the typing matchup. Here he sets up Stealth Ross and that sucks because I don't have a Rapid Spinner on this team. And I actually have a lot of members that don't appreciate Stealth Ross. So that's a thing to keep in mind when uh, entering this stage of the battle. So I'm going to go with the Poison Jab and... Wow, that does pathetic damage. Thanks a lot, Skullpeed. Um, 
you're going to have to do a lot more than that if you're going to take out this Gorgeist. I actually need this Gorgeist out of the way because I've got a lot of physical attackers on this team. So if I can KO this thing, and uh, we'll, we'll be we'll be good. Yeah, yeah, we'll be good. So uh, we're going to sit in here and see what's going to happen. Skullpeak's like, yeah, I got this, I got this, and he's going for Megahorn. I actually thought that that would be super effective. It turns out that it's not, and so that means we're not able to KO it, and we're going to get burned. So, you know, Skullpeak, you tried, but it just didn't work out in your favor, didn't it? That's okay. We're at the point where it's like, Gorgas can be KO'd by someone uh, who's faster than Gorgas, so that's great. He does have Shadow Sneak. He thinks that he can KO me, but I have a lot of HP investment. Uh, Skullby's gonna take the, uh, risk here and KO the Gorgeist. So, we don't need anyone else's support. Uh, and I was hoping for a double down right here, but we don't get that. Which is fine by me. Here's Torkoal again. Of course, Torkoal is nothing to really be, uh, surprised about. I mean, like, he has Shell Smash, and he's going to go for it. Uh, you cannot... I mean, if you're going to battle against a Torkoal, just don't take things lightly when it uses Shell Smash. That thing is a monster if you let that thing set up. Uh, so knowing that, okay, I can go into Dragonite and go with an extreme speed because that's priority. I will bypass the speed of Torkoal there because he went for a Shell Smash if you saw it. <sighs> okay, so that's Torkoal out of the way. Here's Feraligator. I'm just going to go with an Outrage because why the heck not? I'm hoping that I can kill kill it. Unfortunately for me, he has Dragon Dance and he can now outspeed me and KO me with an Ice Punch, which is like, no, because, and like, he gets a critical hit, which makes it more death-like. It's like, no, because I have a lot of priority on my Dragonite there, so. And I'm really surprised to find that my Lightning, uh, the Super Striker, is faster than the plus one for Alligator. Uh, it turns out that he's not max speed and he's an adamant nature. That's what McAllen told me, and that's great. I have Choice Scarf Pangoro here to hopefully outspeed this Absol and hit it real hard with a Storm Throw, but we get killed. Yeah, see? Wow, that was so bad. I, I, I was really sure I could outspeed it um, because of my Choice Scarf, but Nope, no dice right there. We're going to go with the choice specs overheat. Hopefully we can take him out, and we're so close to KOing it. It's like, really? Come on, we were that close. Uh, but that's okay, we got knocked off, we get KO'd. And so that means my last Pokemon is going to be an ice cream cone. Delicious stuff right here, man. Holy crap. Okay, so Sucker Punch. That barely kills me. However, my weak armor is going to kick in. My speed is going to be uh, really high because I went with the weak armor. We get that random boost. And so that means we can have speed Dragology hit real hard with an ice beam. And that's going to make the match come real close because his last Pokemon is Clefable. I just need to hit it with an ice beam and hopefully we can freeze it to death. But. It does not happen. So he's going to KO me with a Fire Blast. Severely overkill, but that's okay. It came down to the wire. Holy crap, that was an awesome match, McAllen. Uh, but man, this high quality is just, it's, it's good. I like it. So, hope you guys find this battle awesome. If you did enjoy this upload, be sure you like this video. Subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles, and I'll see you all in the next Wi-Fi battle video. This is China Connor. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.